There are two poets in this picture. Vinicius de Moraes, Brazilian, and Pablo Neruda, Chilean and Nobel Prize, who had an important relation with my family, and I will talk a little about it. This picture was taken in Barcelona at the wedding of my grandfather. Those years were very good in Barcelona, years of cultural effervescence. Many artists and writers were living there at that time. But those good years didn't last. Spain fell into a terrible civil war. My grandfather fought against Franco's army and lost the war and had to escape to France. In Paris, he met Pablo Neruda. He was the ambassador of Chile. Neruda was looking for people, refugees, who want to go to Chile to restart their lives. And my grandfather did that and go to Chile to a new beginning. But the war caused some marks in his character, marks that are stronger than the scars of war, marks in the way he relate with people, and marks in the way he deal with money. My grandfather wa was completely averse to waste. He controlled all what he spent. He stuck food. I think he had fear of losing everything again. This is my father. He was born in Chile. He grew up in the middle, in the middle of this. He set up a company, but in 82, he went to bankruptcy because uh, a devaluation and a financial cri crisis, and he lost everything. In 83, we had to came to Brazil a new migration in our family, and we start really again. I was 12 years old, and I have learned quite early how strong economic is. It changed your life. It changed without asking permission. It changed the way you relate with people, with your family. I also learned how difficult it is to be near 60 with without any saving for retirement. Somehow, the lesson of my father and my grandfather was the same. It was about the future, about planning, about being prepared for those unexpected things in life. I became a financial planner, trying to deal with money and to be prepared for the future. Those are, these are my two daughters, Helena and tiny Carolina who unfortunately left us at the age of two. But she taught me so much. She taught me the real value of the present. The present is so important. Sometimes there is no tomorrow. Sometimes to spend the money in a gift or spend time and money in a, in a trip is really important because we never know what will happen next. This is my core message. In medio, virtus. Virtue is in the middle. This is not about mediocrity. This is about balance. Balance in all aspects of life. Balance in feet, for example. It is obvious that gluttony is not a virtue. On the other hand, anorexia and bulimia are not as well. So where the virtue is, the virtue is in the middle, in medio virtues. In finance, it is obvious that consumerism is not a virtue. On the other hand, the excess of saving is not a virtue. So where the virtue is? The virtue is in the middle, in medio virtus. Difficult to find this balance in life. Trying to live without losing the important things in life and at the same time preparing for tomorrow. I'm back to this picture. But now I will talk about Vinicius. Vinicius said that life was the art of meeting, and he was right. I think that poets are always right, but we can also say that life is the art of balance. What about you? Can you live in the present while preparing for the future? Thank you very much. <laughs>